there's a relatively newer HTTP response header, expect CT, that has a lot of folks asking questions. And the expect CT header itself is asking the browser to enforce certificate transparency. But then that leads to another question, what is certificate transparency? When the certificates are created, at least since 2018, the certificates are logged in various logs that are duplicated around the internet. And these logs are immutable. You can't change them once you put a log record into the log. So there's a record of that certificate being created. And we can look at an example of one of these logs over here on Google's transparency report. So if we go down to their search field, we can search for domains, like say gmail.google.com. And so you click on the search button and it'll tell you which logs was the creation of this certificate logged into. And you'll get back a, a list of the various logs that you can take a look at and you can filter on the logs and look at the details and so on and so forth. Well, then we might ask, what is it that the browser is actually checking? Because when the browser gets over to a website and it pulls down the certificate, all it has is the certificate itself. How does it know that the certificate was logged properly? Well, let's take a look at the certificate on this page. So we'll click on show certificate, and then we're gonna go into the details. And what we'll find is, is there's what are called SCTs on the certificate. And it's an extension, so usually you'll see the SCTs closer to the bottom. And so we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find these SCTs. Now the SCTs are signed certificate timestamps. When the certificate is being logged at its creation, the log that logs the certificate is going to give back one of these timestamps indicating when the certificate log request was made. And for security reasons, these timestamps are signed so that they can't be altered or forged later on that the timestamp can be trusted to have come from that log and somebody didn't just make it up. So you'll see these, these SCTs down here indicating that timestamp and, and this timestamp can be trusted at least as much as you can trust the signature algorithm and the public key that was used to sign the timestamp with. So when the browser gets a hold of the expect CT and it checks on the certificate transparency, what it's really checking is, is are these signatures present on the certificate and are there enough of these signatures to satisfy the browser that the certificate is legitimate? And so the, uh, the number varies from situation to situation and browser to browser. Um, typically browsers will want to see at least two of these signatures. And if the certificate is valid for more than one year, it's possible the browser may actually insist on seeing more than two of these SCTs. But in general, that is all that certificate transparency really means. It's just being able to be certain that the creation of the certificate was logged into the certificate transparency logs and that we can be reasonably sure that this actually happened and that the certificate, certificate timestamps are not forged.